Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, I hold all Bitcoins. I like Bitcoins. It's the larger original little no. <laughs> and I'm drinking coffee this morning. And in today's hmm, short TA video, guys, I'm going to talk about the Bitcoin chart because we saw another dub dip. Was it the Elon Musk dip? Elon Musk dip? We will see. Um, but let's take a look at the charts and what the charts are telling us. I have some amazing charts lined up for you guys. I think two really cool charts you haven't seen before. Um, so you need to see this video completely to the end. Yes, I need to check the dog. If the dog is not like running over my laptop and all that stuff. But let's jump into the charts. Let's start with this one, guys. Bam. Don't work no more. Oh, no. This is the first chart of the day. Yes, directly a very exciting chart. I need to find my screen over there. Here it is. Beautiful chart. It's on a, a buy Bitcoin uh, pff, worldwide.com website. Uh, really cool. You can see the Maya multiple at the bottom. You can see the stock to flow model and you can see different levels of the stock to flow model that we would reach if it depends on the days. So we see the purple line on top, that's the stock to flow 10 day, then the blue one, that's the 463 day. Uh, the green dots are the price of the days, the dots, and yes, the red one on the bottom is the Meyer multiple. Now just take a look if my face in the screen is. Yes, of course, Didi, it is in the screen. So I was just in time, guys, just in time to change this one. Bam, I'm putting it in there. So it's not disrupting the whole screen. So now just take a look at that screen. If you look at the Maya multiple at the bottom and you look at all the other points in history, so that means you need to look to that side to the left. Um, do you see a moment that when this red line is at the bottom, that the price after that moment went down? No, there is no combination of an orange dot or yellow dot on the top with a price on the bottom and then seeing the price the Maya multiple at the bottom and then seeing the price going down every time when that happens over here the cluster of that orange dots all over there you can see the Maya multiple at the bottom but afterwards we go to the yellow dots and that is the huge run over here the orange dots yes we saw a dip in 2017 in june exactly the same as now going down with almost 50 percent i think it was from 3k to 2k and we saw the maya multiple also at the bottom and afterwards we went up above that beautiful line that we see here the dollar line and that was the end of the bull run here we are seeing the same now we went up we came a little bit above that line we are still down we have these orange dots we should see very yellowish dots that will turn into green dots on the top over here above the blue line or the purple line which would be between 100 and 130k at the moment but it could even go to 200k and um, the longer it will take so for me just another sign that we are now at the bottom of this dip and then we are going to reverse like we see here the bottom of the dip we're going to reverse up the bottom of the dip we're going to reverse up completely my opinion guys let's check it this chart bam this is the four hour chart i think i need to move my face again now to over here yes that was a cool start of the, the charting there and a little bit different than normally but i want to start with a different chart this is what we talked about yesterday the four hour chart one hour chart sorry this is the one hour chart where we said if we come up we break we come down we test and then we go up so we did go up we did retest and we did go up after but then bam the market crashed again with almost five percent why some people say it's uh ellen elon ellen i call him ellen because i feel i find him a little bit like softy but um elon musk uh, dumped the price again because he tweeted about bitcoin <laughs> I really don't believe that. I think he has a perfect marketing timing and every time when Bitcoin dumps, he makes a tweet. His heart is broken. He found a new love, all that stuff. Man, grow up. 
um, get some balls. Uh, this guy, if he dumps the price, then his intention is to dump the price to buy the bitcoins lower from all the weekends. And if you are so stupid to sell your bitcoins because of a tweet of some guy of a guy that created the car and some other stuff in this world, uh, then you don't belong into the bitcoin industry. Please leave it. Then you have weekends, sell it to him because he next week will not do another pump and he will say, oh yeah, Tesla now starts to mine bitcoins, very beautiful with solar energy, even in the driving Tesla cars, blah, 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 blah. If you're influenced by tweets and sell your bitcoins because of tweets, you don't give a shit about the true fundamentals of Bitcoin. You don't even understand anything about Bitcoin. So that is not bad that you leave this market. Let's see what happens. And uh, we have seen in the previous videos that already a lot of those weekends that bought around uh, 40 to 60K sold at 35K with a loss. Uh, let's see, guys. I'm in this place uh, space from some longer time. I'm not getting, uh, I'm not freaking out because of a tweet because of uh, Elon. <laughs> <laughs> my god let's jump into the next chart this one bam this is the four hour chart on the four hour chart we can see that we're forming in since the 30th of may so that's now already in total um four days five days we are forming a channel and we are moving in this channel and mostly we keep the support of the bottom of the channel so um, we are going up to the top we are coming down to the bottom we're going up to the top down to the bottom up to the top down to the bottom and maybe we again up to the top and the top would now be around 40,500 again so this is a four hour chart you know it could be playing out again it also could drop a little bit we don't know we will see but in my opinion friday is always a beautiful day um, at friday we have the close of the cme around uh, six o'clock european time so that means that that uh, moment the cowboys take over and the weekend will be another volatile weekend where probably the bitcoin price will pump and dump and pump and dump so that we make some extras with trading let's jump into the next chart bam this one we have been tricked uh, tracking this one for some longer uh, the green dots should have been a blue dot didn't be appear to be a blue dot now again some dots are forming yes we had a beautiful day yesterday now we have a red day at the moment let's see if this day stays red or that we get a small red candle but if you look to the left you can see that it happens every time again so when we have the bottom and we go up we have a red candle you see over here I'm going to draw so when we have the bottom over there, we go up, we have a red candle and we go up. When we have the bottom over here, we go up, we have a red candle and we go up. When we have the bottom over here, we go up, there's a red candle, not a big one, but we went up again. And here again, when we have the bottom over there, we go up, we have a red candle and we go up again. So nothing strange over here, we had the bottom, we go up. We have a rand candle and we go up again that is what happens in my opinion and maybe we now will see the blue dot appearing down here but let's see we don't know do we have some more cool charts yes of course i have some more cool charts not that many but one more bam that is this one guys because i think it's a very important chart to see and um, we have seen the chart before but let's be honest if you see this chart do you really believe uh, I need it. No, that's the wrong one, Didi. One sec, guys. If you see this chart, do you really believe that this is the end of the bull run? So let's take a look at this chart one more time. So we have the halving, and the days from the halving gives us the indication of where we are at the moment. So after almost 400 days, we are now here. In the previous bull run, we were also seeing that dip going down around the 400 days. Here in the first uh, bull run, that's the blue one, we were also a little bit down just a little bit before that. Both of these runs, the first and the second, and now we have the third, the green one, we saw the price going up after the dip. We saw the price going up after the dip. We didn't see that yet. So this, in my opinion, is not the end. We are at 400 days after the halving. So from here, the halving to there is 400 days. And after 400 days, we saw a dip in all both of these other beautiful runs in Bitcoin. So in my opinion, the green line is bottoming out over here. And then again, we'll continue beautifully 
to go up and yes maybe we will go up a little bit slower maybe we will go up a little bit less high maybe only till here but that still in my opinion is the moment that the bull run will be in an end and it will be around that 100 to 250k in my opinion and it could be even taking 600 days so that would be another 200 days from now 200 days is another seven months so that could be we are now in june july august september october november december january maybe even February or March 2022 if it goes a little bit slower because we saw this one over there took only 400 days to the top then it took already 500 days to the top and maybe it will now take 600 days to the top which would be February March 2022 so this is what I think that could happen to the price guys okay that was I think everything for today's short update in front of my beautiful Bitcoin machina the B of Bitcoin the B of Bitcoin be your own bank yes and also the beautiful logo of machina trader because that is the one that we are going to use to uh, build our new social platform with trading combined guys i hope you really enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment what do you think about these charts do you have any other charts that you think i should look at or that you think that i should uh, do a ta about other currencies ethereum litecoin whatever you prefer let me know down below the comments and i will I'll take a look next day at this tomorrow it is weekend again saturday and sunday saturday dutch ama sunday english ama yes also family videos and yes today there was already a family video because roman saved somebody something from drowning check the family family video today and give a thumbs up for roman as well because she is a hero hero i'm your hero i don't want to sing guys uh, thank you for watching uh, i wish you an amazing friday an amazing weekend and hopefully see you later today or tomorrow again thanks for watching and see you later Bam. you better pray